What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Let's go over the Buccaneers' defense. First, the Washington football team's offense. They lost 29-19. to It seems like a lopsided victory because the defense just messed up. But let's give a better overall story of what happened. We're going to look at some of the positives first. I mean, this is Levante David making Levante David play. I mean, he's usually known for this, punching the ball out, causing turnovers, and he did just that. Well covered all around. I mean, we needed that turnover, and Johnny on the spot is Levante David. What you like with this one, Plus? Yeah, it gave the the Buccaneers a chance in this one. Um, you know, at the time, I think the score was twenty three to to thirteen, and Levante makes a big play here to get us back in it. Causes the uh, the turnover. Antoine Winfield does a great job recovering it, and then I think shortly after the Bucks score a touchdown. So, really good job there. Um, here, the Bucks did get pressure. Um, at times, uh, it just wasn't very consistent. But here, sending in Devin White on the a gap, a gap blitzing, which was really nice to see, and he he took advantage and getting in there and finishing the sack. Yeah, what's crazy is this is a guard that's coming up against him. You would think this guard would be able to man him up, push him out of the spot easy because Levant or Devin White, smaller guy, stands his ground, stays low, pushes through, even draws a holding penalty, and still gets the sack. Dude's insane. He's a monster. And this one was just gift wrap too easy. And he makes sure a little two hand tap at the end just to make sure that the referee knew it was a sack. But I mean, you don't even see him. He flies in and it's almost too easy for him to get another sack. Two sacks on the day, five sacks overall for the Buccaneers defense, which is here. Right. It's just creating, you know, free man pressures. And I would like to see the Bucs do this more often. They did a couple times in this game, but it seemed like they got away from it way too much uh, because this is. You know, good execution. You're you're sending the offensive line one way, and you're creating a free rusher because of it. So good job there, good execution, and and Devin White does a good job of just finishing and not overrunning the play. And that's something I want to see them do a lot more of. Sending in Devin White. I mean, he's a better downhill player than he is backing up. Even though he has done better this year, guys. I know a lot of guys think he's doing bad, but I mean that's where he's best at. Keep sending him in, especially on the money downs, those third downs. And here, just more pressure. We don't get in initially when we, Nacho probably is pissed at himself that he didn't get the sack. But still, Joe Tryon, Sharinka right there to kind of cover it up, stop it for a minimal gain. What is here? Yeah, again, it was just it was setting up good, you know, good interior pressure, setting up that free man rusher. It looks like Nacho's kind of doing a QB spy, and then he's going to delay his blitz, and he's just going to come in once that guy turns his head. And just just misses the play, but good good job by Joe Tryon to to finish it here. All right. More pressure. I like to see that. Again, right here. Why did this happen? Look what they did. My man Devin White coming in. Yes, he's a lot more terrifying than anyone else we have. Anthony Nelson comes untouched to get a sack over here. Beautiful execution, beautiful drawn up play. What do you see? Right. You said it. Execution. You know, matching up well, you know, Devin White draws the attention of the tackle that allows Anthony Nelson to come in free. And that's what you want to see. I mean, just making plays and doing the right thing defensively. It, what a beautiful thing, concept, right? Execution of a scheme of a play. And then Vita Vea, damn it, sucks he got hurt. Luckily, it's not season ending. But check out my man, 350, nimble, dancing bear, love it. Talk to me about Vita Vea. Right, yeah, these next two plays are just great individual efforts, and Vita Vea does a great job here just making the guy miss, getting in the backfield and making a tackle. Uh, we've seen this before. I mean, he's just he's very quick, you know, obviously sideline to sideline, and he makes pressure. And again, now following that up with Antoine Winfield Jr., as he's just going to read this play perfectly, gets in the backfield, and, and makes a nice tackle. I just, heady player, I've said this so many times over the live streams, Again, guys, if you want to listen to our live streams, Mondays at 9, every Monday at 9 after a game, hopefully more victories and losses, but we break it down big time there. But Antoine Winfield, one hell of a player. As long as he can stay on the field, this guy has insane potential. Keep going on. We're looking. Just one hell of a throw here by Heineke. I don't know what the hell Dee Delaney was doing. Uh, maybe you can break this down for me, Place. What's he looking at? Yeah, it looks like, again, and this is, this is why we talk about execution. It, someone messed up here. You know, it looks like D. Delaney, you know, thinks he's going to take uh, number 17 there. So two guys go to one guy, and that leaves, you know, the guy he should have been covering all along, you know, open on the deep corner route. 
Uh, so again, good execution by Washington football team to take advantage of the mistake by the Buccaneers defender. And that's why we say, you know, 11 working as one, if one guy messes up, usually this is what happens. Yeah, Cause what sucks is that look what happened. You know, the quarterback, Devin White and Levante both go in. He's just a half second away from getting a sack or at least knocking this ball down. But it, it ends up being six right there because D Delaney is not in the spot. Keep going on. Let's see. Are we looking at hard third down conversions that should have been stopped? I mean, this is a hard cover for Devin White. I mean, he's having to cover this whole side of the field. That's cover. I mean, that's that's a hard to do for a linebacker. Yes, maybe he needs to get to the, the guy instead of trying to still go for the ball. Maybe stay on the 20 and stop him one yard short. I mean, these are things where inches matter, right? So stop them short and kick the field goal. Don't give up touchdowns. Don't let them continue drives. Things we need to work on and really call big principles on the the week of practice. What did you see here? Right. Third down conversions. This was a, a big issue for the Buccaneers. They just couldn't get off the field uh, and, you know, third and long situations. And it just seemed like Washington had an answer for everything. And they were making the perfect plays. I mean, this is a perfect pass right where it needs to be. It allows the, the receiver to turn up field. So they were just executing at a very good level. And unfortunately, the Bucks just couldn't find an answer on third down here again, third down great play. I mean, this is a great concept. You're matching up Antonio Gibson against Levante, and that's that's a mismatch. So again, tacking the middle of the field, finding your best option, and again, good throw right before he gets hit too, you know, as pressure's coming in. So it's yeah. just well executed. It's it's tough to see. I mean, but that's this is just execution and mismatches. That's what all this game is all about. I mean, it's as simple as that. Don't make it harder than it is. Find your best man. Find it in the middle of the mismatch of one-on-one, -on -one, take it. I mean, it does suck that Joe Tryon Shoenka kind of covers the middle, but you can't expect a defensive end, bigger guy like that, to know what the hell to do. He's just covering space. And then Devin White is just there. I mean, he's doing the things that we want to see him do. Almost there, just good executed plan, executed to perfection. Really nice. Keep going on. Now, the thing I hate the most, missed tackles. I mean, Shovel, make sure this guy gets inside to your, your help. Look at all this damn space you're allowing. And this is a big third down, huge game. They, ends up, they end up going up for it on fourth down. This can not happen. Ridiculous. Tell me more about it. Right, yeah. I mean, Jamel Dean's got to make this play. Uh, you have to come up and, and make these individual tackles or at least, you know, make the guy go back to your help, like you said. Uh, so, yeah, little things like this is, is what gets you beat. And unfortunately for the Bucs, there's, you know, little things like this that continue to cost them as the game went on. So this is where every yard, every inch matters. I mean, we've said it twice now. And then things like this, bullshit like this. And just, I want you to laugh at the other team pointing out, Sue, even the veterans messing up. If you didn't know, three times a charm. It was you, it was you, and it was you. This is it. You're beating yourselves. It's flags, missed tackles mis-execution you can't do it this way especially when everyone's seeing this as, as their super bowl you got to step up you got to make the right moves decisions you just can't have this like missed tackles missed tackles extra yardage what do you see yeah and, and like you said the the play before was a false start that gave him a shorter third down and this was the next play so it dumps it off short guy misses a tackle and he ends up getting that first down because we gave them extra yards off the penalty and also missed tackling ridiculous areas where we're beating ourselves not the other teams beating you it's trash this is another missed opportunity you get it golden opportunity oh right in my hands and nope i tipped the ball out of my own damn hands and perfectly into the washington football team's hands wow wow what do you see right it was it was just one of those days for the bucks and you know whatever they did it just it, it happened to work out perfectly for the Washington football team. And you got to make those plays. I mean, especially when they're in front of you. It's crazy. And then flags again, this one, I don't, I don't really get too mad at because this is very uncatchable. I don't see a chance of him even making a play, but the rules are rules. You can't do that. What do you say? Yeah. Sometimes it's just bad luck. And this was a case of that where, you know, defender got, you know, kind of caught in between, 
And like like you said, it's uncatchable. But you know, the ref sees a little tug here at the end. And he's gonna throw that flag. But this is also secondary's banged up. We got so many corners out. Richard Sherman freaking hurts his his calf in pregame. We have three guys that are we're on our third, fourth stringers at cornerback. This is insane. And then you see this three guys falling back, tosses this in his face, a little wobbler, duck, perfect accuracy. Like anything that was happening for Washington football team was working. What do you see? Yeah, it was working. Like you said, I mean, just good execution. Washington, you know, got to give them credit. They were just, they were making plays. T- Taylor uh, or Tyler, is it Taylor or Tyler? I don't know. But he was, <laughs> he was <laughs> Heineke. He was making really good plays. I mean, making the throws left and right. I mean, here again, another third down. We have everything covered except the quarterback and he makes the play. So it was just, it was one of those days for the Bucks where just couldn't find answers. I mean, you know, he's a running guy. This happened in the playoffs. You got to contain. I mean, I hope to God they do this against Daniel Jones next, this this Monday. Because guess what? He did that a couple couple seasons ago as well. And can't let him out. Escape the pocket. Keep going on. More. This is just one hell of a throw. One hell of an executed play. Something the Bucks aren't doing at this current time in the the Bucks season. But check out Adam Humphreys, former Buccaneer. Quick out route. Look at the placement by Taylor Heineke. I believe is Tyler Taylor. <laughs> But check out the placement, check out the timing, and there's no way any defender is getting to this ball unless they literally knew what the hell was going to happen beforehand. Perfect. What do you see? Execution beats good defense, and that was the case here. I mean, it's just a great route, great ball, and we've seen Adam Humphreys do that for us you know, numerous times and did it against us this, uh, this time and really got the win for uh, for Washington. And again, here's another opportunity to get off the field and maybe force a field goal. But execution, man, it just it, it beats beats the defense every time. And this was a great play effort. I mean, he's he knows he's going to get nailed, and it still you know makes that play. This is the part that I was saying. Effort. The Bucks aren't giving the same amount of effort other teams are giving. Like I said earlier, they're playing like this is the Super Bowl. Every team is doing that. We have the the monkey on our not monkey on our back. The the target on our back. That everyone wants to beat the former Super Bowl team. It's Tom Brady's team. They have all these Hall of Famers. What do you think they're going to do? Lay down and say, oh, you got these good guys. We're going to let you beat us. No. We're, everyone wants to beat the guy on the top of the hill. This can't happen. I mean, look how much effort he's having to hold down this. Knows he's going to get nailed. Still secure the catch to win the damn game. Bucks got to raise their level of play. Execution's got to be there. Don't give me the crap that, oh, we have hurt guys. Next man up and execute. Let's do that, and we'll start winning some games. Other than that, guys, if you like the content, make sure to hit that like button down below comment down below what does our defense need to get better and are the Buccaneers going to start going on a run what's going to happen is this going to be crumbling let us know down below we always like to hear your your opinions and with that said until the next one